I have a PhD student, Beck Fechner, who I'll mention now. She's doing stuff on, on teachers in schools, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on preventative pain science education. So if we teach, so teachers are the experts at teaching. Yep. If we give the teachers the framework of the biopsychosocial model, DIMS and SIMS, something like this, a framework about pain, maybe the, the new kids' books we're working yeah. on, and let them run with it. Give them a project, have a go, put embedded in the mental health yep. curriculum. Do you think there's merit in that? And like, yeah, I mean, we're going to test this, but yep. I'd just be interested to hear your thoughts on like the potential of preventative education. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I think ultimately this, this epidemic of pain that we, that we have in right through childhood, adolescenthood and adulthood, I think the ultimate the ultimate prevention must come down to education, number one, and education at a, at a young age. And as you know, we don't have any data on that, but it just makes so much sense to intervene early. We've seen um, benefit with early education with other other health issues. Yep. So, so why not get in there with pain early? Yep. 